My name is Chris Revage, and I'm one of the co-founders and board members, uh, investors of uh, the USL soccer franchise for Nashville. F funny story, so when I was younger, I played uh, basically forward, so I was a striker. And then as I got older and got worse, I just kept going back until I couldn't play goalie. So collegiately, I played up top and then moved back to play center back. And then in the professionals, I played center back as well. Sports hero, Michael Jordan. And then I also did this uh, report on Charles Barkley. And little known fact, he was named the round mound of rebounds. And so I did this uh, report when I was in third grade. And so I just really liked him. So my favorite international soccer play would be Messi. And just because what he can do with the ball and what he does, you know, getting other players involved is just amazing. Uh, and then Clint Dempsey, in terms of a domestic player, U.S. player, uh, I love his stories from small town in Texas, uh, kind of rugged, uh, has a chip on his shoulder, just works really hard, and is really creative. He, he's, he's unique in the stance of he takes people on, is really creative in his attack, and we need that more in American soccer. Exciting. Well, it's really called football, so we're really just returning it to its, you know, nor, you know, we kick the ball with our feet. Uh, you know, I think what I'm excited about is I think soccer is growing in the U.S. It continues to grow, and it really started growing when we started building soccer-specific stadiums, and people got to experience soccer with all the excitement and the culture that a soccer-specific stadium can bring. So that's what I'm excited about is we're bringing soccer to Nashville with a stadium and it's gonna be great. I love to dance and I've actually taught hip hop dance class. I did two years of tap dance in college. So I love to dance, never get the opportunity to do it, but I'm a big dancer. Tim Shaw, great friend of mine, played for the Titans. Just, I, I've traveled the world with him. So I would want him to be there because he, he's been around on this story. Uh, I would invite, uh, Let's see, Taylor Swift, can we call her a Nashvillian? Yeah? And then I'd invite Mike Fisher, uh, the hockey player, because he's married to Carrie Underwood and I think that would be cool to have them all there. <laughs> Failure is okay. Uh, and in fact, you need to fail uh, to be able to learn, to be able to discover who you are uh, and really what you want in life. Uh, I think so often people don't want to take the chances to fail. Uh, and so they just build these walls, uh, safety walls. The reality is you have to fail. If you want to do something big and you want to do something that you know God created you for, uh, you have to fail and you have to just mess things up. And it's okay to do that. So I love getting on a bike and riding. And so the, the greenways on my bike uh, down the, uh, the river is amazing. It's such a great space for me. Okay, can we get some quinoa salad or some kale salad or something freaking healthy, right? Like, I don't want fries, I don't want chicken wings. I want some salad, you know, and then a good beer. So I went and saw the Super Bowl last year out in uh, San Francisco at their new uh, football stadium. And that was just amazing to, you know, one of probably my top five sporting events I've ever been to. Uh, so recently it was going to the Super Bowl and seeing uh, Denver Broncos win. Energy, innovative, and real.